All right, Shalom. First and foremost of all, praise and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Baha Shem, Yahweh Shai, Baha Shem, Makakwadash. The Bible of the Apostle has a great most known teaching us, the one percent truth according to Bible well. And peace and blessings to the elect of the nation of Israel, take through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shem, Shai. You know, looking to the Lord's willing at the final lesson on you know the signs of the times you know really you know jake has been blinded you know i don't have a a, a title yet but you'll see the title but this is second Ezra nine and one he answered me then and said measure thou the time diligently in itself right so we as you know that have been set up as the watchman you know you know uh you know kind of hate saying that watchman for israel nowadays you got these uh bug house wi-fi right but the true watchman of y'all by shema Shah, the men of the lord the men of great millstone starting with the apostle knows great millstone if you can receive it or not you know we've been given a commandment to measure the times right and to warn the people as when you look around the world you see all these things happening you know according to uh, as the Holy Scripture said they would, biblical prophecy. And a lot of our people are blind. A lot, a lot of our people are not paying attention. You ask the average American, you know, about things that are happening, uh, you know, with the train derailment, you know, uh, the, 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 fat, the flashing blue lights in New York. As we are over here in the Carolinas, you ask, and average Jake about those things, and they don't even know anything about them. They don't know what's going on. You see, but we, you know, as the believers of Yah by Shema Shai, you know, cannot be uh, the uh, asleep as they are asleep. You see, we cannot be in darkness as they are in darkness. You see, we must understand what the will of Yah by Shema Shai is, and continue the measure of the times. You see, it says, and when thou seest part of the signs past, which I have told thee before, right? And we're seeing part of the signs past, right? The different signs that Yahweh Shai warns us about, you know, the wars, the rumors of wars, the pestilence, right? The earthquakes in diverse places. You know, it tells you in the 16th chapter that all of these, you know, even Yahweh Shai spoke about the beginning of sorrows, but the end is not yet. You know, we can say that we're living in the beginning of sorrows, you know, as these things, uh, these events are happening more frequently, you see, they're happening, uh, you know, more around the clock. So as these things uh, get closer and closer, right, we got to understand we're, we're getting closer to the end. It says, then shall thou understand that it is the very same time we're in the highest, Right. When the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. That's right. So at the very same time of, you know, the Heavenly Father's words come to pass. The true believers of Yah by Shema Shai, they're going to understand that this is what the Heavenly Father was speaking about. This is what uh, the Lord was warning us about. You see, this is um Second Ezra chapter 16 and... <clears throat> um, uh, I'm sorry, 33 says The virgins shall mourn having no bridegrooms The women shall mourn having no husbands The daughters shall mourn having no helpers In the war shall their bridegrooms be destroyed And their husbands shall perish of famine You see, so wars and famine you know, and over the last years, they've been talking about, you know, a supply chain uh, breakdown. They've been talking about how, uh, you know, the crops are not growing, you know, inflation, the price of food going up, all these things. You know, they've been talking about woes or they've been talking about wars in the news, rumors of wars. Right. So, hey, th this is what, you know, we're constantly warning our people about, you know, the, the famine the, and the war that's coming. Hear now this, hear now these things and understand them, ye servants of the Lord, right? The servants of Yahweh Shema Shai, we ought to understand the will of the Lord. Once again, behold the word of the Lord, 
receive it. Believe not the gods of whom the Lord Yahweh spake. Right? So we're not supposed to believe these gods that are telling us. <coughs> right? These powers. These judges of the earth. You know? These uh, these false uh, ways of life that are telling us that peace and safety is going to come. That, uh, that things are going to uh, remain as they always has. America is not going to be destroyed. You see? It says... Behold, the word of the Lord, receive it. Believe not the gods of whom the Lord, Yahweh spake. It says, Behold, the plagues draw nigh and are not slacked. Yeah, the plagues are not slacked. You know, everybody's uh, mocking and scoffing about the MOTB being the CIP. But as we get closer and closer, you know, to, you know, Yahweh Shai's return, it's only getting more apparent. That Yahweh Shema Shai is what you know dealing with the Apostle's great Moso and the C the C hip, that is the M O T to the B, you see it is evidently clear, and it's only gonna get more clear as the days come along, right? Verse thirty eight it says as when a woman with child in the ninth month bringeth forth her son. With two or three hours of her birth. Right? Great pains come past her womb. Right? So, women, you know, they have labor pains. You know, uh, you know, they go through the whole process. You know, when a woman's pregnant, you know, she goes through several weeks, you know, before it even looks like she's even pregnant. Right? It goes through a, a time where it doesn't really look like she's pregnant. Then, then what? You start to see, you know, the belly. Right? And then right before... She does have that baby, right? She goes through contractions and labor pains. And labor pains, you know, as the babies get closer and closer, they happen more frequently, you know? The, the you know, uh, the first, you know, uh, contraction may be every 10 minutes, then every seven, then every five, and every three, and so on and so on. And not only that, but the pain increases, right? So as we get closer and closer to the kingdom of heaven, you know, uh, being established down there upon the earth, you're going to see uh, uh, judgment happening more frequently. You see, you're going to see the prophecies of the al Shema Shai come to pass and speaking more and more, right? This is Second Nazareth 16 and 38, as says, as when a woman with child in the ninth month bringeth forth his, her son with two or three hours of her birth, right? Great pains, great pains can pass her womb. Which pains when the child cometh, they slack not a moment, right? Even so shall not the plagues be slacked. Just as, you know, as we went to the analogy of the woman, these plagues are not being slacked. You know, truly, Yahweh by Shema Shai, according to Ezekiel 12, is causing that proverb to cease in Israel of the days being prolonged. You know, that the vision that y'all talking about, it ain't going to happen this June. Ain't no microchip, right? Even so, shall not the plagues be slack to come upon the earth. And the world shall mourn. And sorrow shall come upon it on every side. The world is going to mourn and sorrow is going to come up upon it. Right? Not only here in America, but across the four corners of the earth. As you can see over there in Turkey and with this whole train derailment. Esau, Elam, the so-called white men that the Bible speaks of, right? It's coming down with great wrath, right? Scripture talk about woes in the heavens to the earth and to the sea. The devils come down unto you having great wrath because you know if they have but a short time, right? But we we would overcome this man by the word of our testimony, right? And and by the blood of Yahweh Shai. <clears throat> Second Ezra sixteen and forty, it says, "O oh my people, hear my word, right." Take, make you ready to the battle. Make make you ready to thy battle. Right? This is a spiritual war. You have to make your, prepare your minds as coming. You know, when you really understand this spirit, this, this spiritual battle, 
you know that uh, that's going on it's going to manifest into a war that Esau Edom's going to declare you know against the remnant of the heavenly father's seed with all his military might right and you common everyday Americans and citizens are going to be collateral damage for that war as he's trying to cut off the nation of Israel from being a people, right? But Yah by Shema Shai, who is the man of war, the Lord of hosts is his name, right? Is going to lift up a standard being a, a spiritual power, the uh, being the angels, uh, getting, getting orders from Yahweh Shai to come and protect us. So we have to prepare, prepare our minds, you know, for the times of war that are ahead, you know, uh, <clears throat> which we are not going to uh, gather up weapons. The weapons of our warfare are not carnal, you see, but mighty through Yahweh by Shema Shai to pulling down of strongholds, right, which are the lies that Esau Edom has set up. So we're combating you know, this war with the truth, you know, so we're supposed to make ourselves ready for a time like none other that is about to uh, happen upon the earth. It says, and in those evils, be even as pilgrims upon the earth. And we're in those evils, we're in those times, you know, we're in those times where we should be pilgrims, you know, uh, looking for our daily bread. You know, just getting enough in and out, going to work, coming home, right? Uh, uh, eating some uh, grub, right? Studying, watching videos, praying to Yah, bless Shema Shai. You know, keeping our my our, our life simple as we're coming to a time where uh, we're about to, you know, lose everything on this side. Not that we have anything uh, to gain. Not, not that we have anything here, but we're we're about to lose it all. Uh, that we may save our life. Let me um. You know I had a couple scriptures in mind, but um. Spirit had it happen. This is um, Saint Matthew sixteen and um. Twenty four and twenty five, it says, "Then said Yahweh Shai unto his disciples, If any man co will come after me, let him deny himself, his life, his pleasures that he wants." While he's down here upon the earth and take up his cross, the burden, right? The burden of following Yahweh Shai and follow me as, as Yahweh Shai is hated by the world, you know? And you have to reject this present evil world that you may live with Yahweh Shai in the world to come. It says, for whosoever will save his life shall lose it, right? You're looking to save your life in this society, you know, looking for salvation here. In America and across the four corners of the earth, wherever you're at, by the means of Esau, Edom, you're going to lose it all, you see? And whoso will lose his life, you know, give it all up, be as a pilgrim, right? And whosoever will lose his life for my sake shall find it. And that's what we're going to find, what it means to really be alive, as we've been given this knowledge and this truth. And we understand that we are not living. We will live in the kingdom of heaven when Yahweh Shai uh, uh, returns. You know, with that, you know, continue to watch, continue to pray. It was just something, you know, uh, spirit hopped on. I was watching a brother video. You know, I was going over uh, the news and prophecy in madness via that the beloved elder uh, out there in L.A. Uh, the brother Mike Yala does, you know, uh, pretty frequently. And, um, you know, this this topic came in my mind, so I just wanted to put it on whack. Lord's one is edifying with that. You're going to say uh, peace and love to the elect. Shalom.